but I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. A handshake. <laughs> denied. Completely and utterly denied. All right, here I am again. Uh, we see the Blade Chronicles once again, and the reason why we're looking at the game one more time is because the definitive edition comes with an extra episode. Um, you can really consider this to be sort of the DLC, like the DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, Alright, so this is an extra episode where you get to run around um, a separate area. Uh, it just takes place after the game. Um, I will, I do not intend to focus on any kind of spoilers, so, uh, so don't worry about that. I don't want to talk about the story at all, actually. Uh, actually, why, why are you even watching this, right? I mean, uh, I mean, I would estimate this takes about 10 or 15 hours or something like that. So, so best not to spoil anything. Um, but of course, if you are like me, you have to know everything even before you make a purchase decision, so... Fans of the series will notice will notice right away that uh, we're not really talking about a new area here. We're talking about an area that was already in the previous game in 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 the form of cut content. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, if you've never checked it out, um, you can run around this area essentially in the in the previous game if you if you use some hacks. And I think it's super cool that it came back in form of this uh, epilogue, so... So, of course, more Xenoblade Chronicles means more questing. So here's the thing. Of course, you can expect a vastly reduced scope of this. And I, I want to make sure you understand that you don't take... This is not connected to your regular playthrough whatsoever, so... It's not like you're taking any progress over... It's just a fresh separate completely isolated episodes so for example we don't have skill a skill tree anymore because that probably wouldn't have made sense for the, the small scope you do get uh, two for now at least keep in mind i haven't played further either and i don't intend to answer many spoilers but for now at least you start out with shulk and melia and you get two new nopon characters uh you have your Collectopedia, just just how you're used to it from other areas in the game. All right, there's one new thing in the form of these nopons you can collect for uh, for some kind of special attack. Um, I've only found one so far, so there's 12 in the game to be found. Basically, they hand you a quest when you find them, and then you have to do the quest, and then they join you. But what I really like is if if you look here, so. Um, so I cannot equip any of the gems right now because I, I'm lacking the equipment. So I'm really looking for equipment that uh, that allows me to do that. So uh, as far as customization is go uh, is going, I'm I'm severely limited, and I really enjoy that because uh, obviously that means every piece of equipment that I get as a reward actually has meaning, and and is actually something I'm very much uh, looking forward to. It's really, you can consider this like playing through one area of Xenoblade. It's, it's, it has everything, you know, including story and, and story exposition and pickups and whatnot that you would expect from an area in the real game. That includes uh, enemies I cannot beat yet and so on. So, as far as the Nopons go, when I look at their skills, um, I think they are pretty much meant to replace uh, Charla and Rain, but their skills are look similar, but they aren't called the same. So there might be some differences. I'm not sure. Um, up to you guys. I I just wanted to scroll through real quick so you can uh, so you can have a look at that stuff. It on it really does look like the same as Rain. So. Who knows? Uh, as far as enemies are concerned, I think these are mostly palette, palette swaps, so... So it's not like, you know, it feels really like a new type of game. It really does feel like it's just part of the main game. 
The larger aim of playing this is really reaching Alchemoth in the back there. Uh, which is pretty much how far we're allowed to show you anything. You will notice that I decided to change the, the language to English for this because I was curious. You know, after all, it should be new performances, but I don't think they got Shulk's voice actor back or something. At least, you know, please correct me if I'm wrong about this, but even even uh, even Malia doesn't sound at all like her usual self. I don't. I, I read that they brought back her voice talent, so I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, it's it's really funny for me. You know how should I put it? For me, this this has a very specific value because I'm actually very familiar with the cut area with the with the shoulder of the Bionis. So seeing all of this is honestly nostalgic to me this is just like oh wow i can't believe you know these weird uh designs here are super interesting because they they you know they were in this cut content but they don't fit with anything in the game at all and i think it's super funny that they left this sort of stuff in um and you know in the story they have like refugees that build their camps around these structures and whatnot and I think it's really cool that they left the designs as they were. Oh lo, my god, is that what I think it is? That is a part of Aerith Sea, uh, which now floats in the middle of the air. That's super cool, actually. Ah, I don't want to fight this thing. But yeah, I mean, I think I think this episode is super cool. And, and again, I want to close this off with saying, uh, please check out Torna, which is a standalone thing, so... Even if you if you feel like Xenoblade's uh, Chronicles 2 is not your cup of tea, which I can totally get, uh, Torna is is its own thing. It just lasts like 20 hours or so, but it is some of their very best work, I think. So to close this really off now, um, if you already played the game before, uh, it, it just lo looks really nice now and they fixed a lot of uh, things and made, made questing more convenient. And of course you have this really nice epilogue that if you're a fan of the game I think you will really appreciate. Um, because it, it takes the story a bit into the future and connects it with some surprising things. So so yeah, I definitely I would recommend this this version of the game. Um, even though of course I would have preferred a new game.